So, I have to redo a few videos because there were some errors and stuff happened. So, we're just redoing this. So, when the Rogue One trailer came out, we knew, those of us who knew about Rogue One coming out knew what the story was. It's the plans to steal the Death Star plans. Domino, what are you growling at, baby? <laughs> She's probably growling at a dog or something. Um,. But anyway, we knew we knew what that story was, and but people who didn't didn't know that anyway. So when seeing the thought had occurred to me before the trailer came out, but it kind of left my mind till I rewatched the trailer a few times, and then it popped back up. Who's dying in this movie? Because yeah, people died to get the Death Star plans. This isn't like hey, we're the team. Like maybe one person's gonna die. No, this is hey, this is the Death Star. We're probably all dying here. <laughs> um, the vast majority of us aren't coming out of here alive, probably. So, and because I have to redo this video again, I gotta get their page back up to uh, reference actors' names. So, we don't know a lot of the actual character names, character descriptions, what their actual background and story is. But, we at least have a few bits of information... We at least have a idea of character descriptions, and we know who's playing these characters. So, when looking at these characters, who do we think's going and things along those lines? Well, first of all, let's get out of the way who we're, we, I can guarantee you, is not going to die. Mom Moth was not dead. Darth Vader's not going to die. Tarkin, whoever's uh, standing in for Peter Cushions, digitally being reinserted over him by dear Peter Cushions, they are not die. So those three automatically are not dead. But then we go into... Our other girls. Now, Felicity Jones is our main character, Jin Erso. She's probably the safest among the new ones. Uh, she's. I get the idea she's her character's probably going to have a bit of an arc. Because you, you look at that character in the beginning when she has that line like, you know, oh, that's a, this is a rebel, I rebel. And she says, is that clear? And then you hear her say, yes, sir. And you could hear that snarky, smart-ass tone in her voice. I can guarantee you that she's going to have an arc throughout the story where she comes to realize, no, this is an important thing to be a part of. This is something I need to fight with them for, what I need to fight for, not just be a smart ass. <laughs> something tells me I'm actually going to find her character a bit on the irritating side. Um, so, yeah, she's safe. Uh, if there is any other character that I think is legitimately safe... Mm, like, the cl or as close to safe as you can be... Either Ben Mendelsohn or Alan Tudyk. And I say Ben Mendelsohn and Alan Tudyk because of this. Ben Mendelsohn is playing an Imperial. He's playing this Admiral Colonel character of some kind. He seems to be one of the main antagonists, actually. One of the ones hunting him down. Not just Vader, but him. And we see him on the front line. We see him in uh, his personal thing, whatever. And he looks badass. He doesn't look... I mean, we'll have to see what the next trailer brings, but he doesn't look like someone who's going to be... Super, what's the best way to put it? it was going to be super in there. It's going to be super involved in the sense that, hey, I'm going to be in a situation that's going to lend me to getting killed. Apart from being on the battlefield like that. But that's in the way he was just strolling in there, I don't think he's going to die. At least not in that way. So I'd say maybe he's the sec next safest in Alan Tudyk because he. I feel like he's going to play kind of like what he always plays, the pilot. And I swear, he needs he needs a, it just one sail line. I am a weight leaf on the wind. Watch his eyes collide. Or sore. I can't remember the exact line. He says that we'll lose it. But us fans who know the reference will lose it. In terms of everyone else, though, Mad Mickelson, not sure who he's playing. Rumors say he's, one of the, he's probably one of the main engineers of the Death Star and feels guilty for what he did. So it stands a reason that he could actually... A good likelihood he could possibly die. Um... You know, kind of to atone for his sins kind of thing. Donnie Yen, he's a blind character, but he's also supposedly uh, Force-sensitive. Uh, that's why he can do the kind of things he does. Good likelihood he's probably going to bite it. He's Donnie Yen, he's a bad, he's going to have some great action sequences. Uh, he might even, he's probably going to be one of those heroic deaths where he's like, I will buy you time. Go. And then he just starts beating the shit out of Stormtroopers. Vader comes in, maybe even gets a good lucky hit on Invader. And then Vader just like <laughs> slices him down. Uh, Diego Luna. We saw a little bit of him in the treaser, but I think he's probably going to, he might make it out. He might. Forrest Whitaker, I can almost guarantee you, is dead. 
Because Forrest Whitaker seems to be playing a character who has been through shit, who has seen shit, who has stayed away from the shit for a while, and now he's getting back into the shit. So now it, it feels like, it's like you know, it's going to be kind of like the, the the lone gunslinger going out for, on that last ride, that one last huzzah, and just, you know, boo, 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 shh, and now I still want to envision it, because that, that trailer, when we saw him actually walking, Lens Creams, in fact, I think he has a bionic leg. I think you see him using a staff to help walk. So he's like, I believe he's, the rumor is he's like an old bounty hunter or something like that. One of the rumors, anyway. And he's got upside down legs. So he joins them. He's in there and it's like, he suddenly they see Vader and he's like, go, I will buy you time. But you was like, no, my time's already, my my time has come and gone, young one. Yours is, you still, or something like that. I'm not a, I'm not a script writer, as you can tell. But then he just goes and he's like, you are foolish. To stay. You are foolish. You think you can hold me off? You think you can defeat me? No, but I think I can. I think I can buy them time. <laughs> and then he just, and then all of a sudden, like RoboCop style, just zzz, pocket opens up, bzz, lightsaber comes out, brrr, and he goes and like, it doesn't, it's not going to be a long fight because he's not a like user of a lightsaber, and he's gonna, and he's gonna, he's gonna bite it, but he's probably got like, twenty seconds. That's all he has. A twenty second fight where he kind of maybe pushes Vader back just briefly because Vader's surprised by this, and then it's like Vader's just like, oh yeah and just knocks the blade out for us and then just runs him through and then the legs he smiles the legs starts beeping beep beep beep, beep and boom and then the squeakiness of Domino's chew toy and just boom arr! and then Vader's probably missing a little bit of his mask now he's pissed and he's just going after him so I think that would be pretty damn cool uh, no one else who I really recognize in terms of a name Sam Wilkinson I do recognize but um Oh, yeah, I recognize Sam Wilkinson, but um, he's no one important at the moment. Uh, in fact, does it say who he is? Yeah, he's an X-Wing pilot. X-Wing pilots and Stormtroopers are going to be dying galore. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be fighting it. Apart from that, though, it's, it's, it's too soon to tell. Oh, excuse me. It's too soon to tell. Not at least until... I wanted to make sure I didn't just hiccup again. At least until uh, the next trailer comes out, we'll have a better sense of what's going on. I mean, we know what's happening, but what's really going on within the context of the story. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Domino squeaking her toy. <laughs> Is it you, you're enjoying your squeaky? You're enjoying your squeaky. Um, and, you know, scratch your butt, too. Scratch your butt. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll be back with Who Would Win again, because i got to do re redo Who Would Win, which is annoying. Um, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.